Further introductions? If not, Senator Gabbard. Mr. President, colleagues and guests in the gallery, we are honored to have with us today the Hawaii Youth Challenge Academy, which hails from Kalailoa, formerly known as Barbers Point Naval Air Station, in Senate District 20, also known as God's Country. <laughs> yes, we have the Youth Challenge Oahu Campus Class 50. There are 83 cadets in the gallery, as well as their staff, including their leadership team, joining us here on the Senate floor. And today, we are recognizing and celebrating the 25th anniversary of this amazing program here in Hawaii. First, we'll start off with the leadership team on the floor. Um, please stand when I call your name, and if you would just hold your applause till the end. The Youth Challenge Oahu Director, Sina Atanoa. Operations Chief, Basila Tawa. Program Coordinator, Brandon Suzuki. Hilo Interim Director, Kuule Kekueva. Mentor Coordinator, Margaret Tatum. Lead Counselor, Penina McMoor. Lead Instructor, Sasenga Sivatia. And the Youth Challenge Class 50 Student President, Cadet Fernandez Salval. Please give them a hand. Thank you. Youth Challenge was founded in 1994 and is, is administered by the Hawaii Army National Guard. With campuses in Kailoa on Oahu and Hilo on Hawaii Island, Youth Challenge provides 16 to 19 year old non-traditional at-risk youth a second chance to obtain their high school diploma and become productive citizens within our community and state. I'm particularly honored to have the Youth Challenge here today because the graduation of Class 50 which will be on Father's Day, June 16th, as I mentioned earlier, marks their 25th anniversary here in Hawaii. In a rigorous five and a half, five and a half month live-in program in former Barbers Point Naval Station enlisted soldiers barracks, Youth Challenge instills discipline and a sense of self-worth by using military training to improve the life skills and employment potential of the young people who are accepted into the program. The program's eight core components focus on the holistic development of the youth and include academic excellence, life coping skills, job skills, health and hygiene, responsible citizenship, community service, leadership, followership, and physical fitness. Some of their community service projects where they're learning about service to others include Loko Ea Fish Pond, Wahiwa Hospital, Aloon Farms, Adopt a Highway, Wainai Boat Harbor, and fun fair for the surrounding community. In addition, Youth Challenge has a wonderful mentor program of volunteer mentors from the community who meet with their assigned cadets, not only during the cycle, but for a year after graduation. Some of the graduating cadets choose to join the military, some continue their education, others enter the workforce. For example, Boyd Torreser, a class 16 graduate, graduate in 2002, and he was a keynote speaker for Class 49, has gone on to a successful career as an air traffic controller here at our Honolulu Airport. As a senator for the district, a former high school English teacher and a neighbor to Youth Challenge in Kalailoa, I can't say enough about this wonderful life-changing program for the cadets who graduate. Each cycle, Youth Challenge accepts approximately 225 young people. Roughly 21% of those who enter the academy fail to complete the course. About 80% graduate and go on to earn their high school diploma. Since its inception, the programs in Hawaii have graduated over 6,800 students. Over the years, I've worked closely with uh, Youth Challenge leadership and have had the honor of attending several of their functions, from helping cadets serving dinner at a homeless shelter to being the keynote speaker for a couple of their graduating classes. I created a $500 scholarship for a deserving cadet from each class as a way to encourage and reward these students who go above and beyond during their stay at YCA. Today I'm honoring these courageous leaders, cadres, and staff to show my appreciation for all they've done and continue to do to help at-risk youth find themselves and, be and become productive members of the community. I suppose you could say I have a unique bond with Youth Challenge Academy, I'm living just down the street from the barracks. Uh, we have the distinct pleasure of hearing their bugle blasting at Reveille 
every morning at 5 o'clock. Today it was a little early, uh, it was at 4.51 a.m. I think they got him up a little early because they knew they were making a field trip to the state capitol. And some mornings, when I hear the cadets marching in that wonderful Kalailoa air and the birds chirping, I hear this. Now, it may come as a surprise to many of you, but I was a, <clears throat> ahem, an at-risk youth myself. And I give a pep talk to each Youth Challenge class a couple days before graduation, where I divulge some of the sordid details of my rebellious youth and how I turn my life around. I speak to them about some of the problems that we face here in paradise, the cost of living, affordable housing, homelessness, and how they should get involved in helping solve these problems instead of just complaining about them. I talk to them about the importance of serving others instead of oneself if they want to be truly happy and successful in life. I let the cadets know how much I believe in this program and how proud I am of their commitment to see it through to its end. Hawaii's Youth Challenge Academy program has been recognized as one of the nation's most effective for at-risk teens and its value never ceases to amaze me. YCA has been changing the lives of young men and women since 1994, leading a positive mark on the Hawaiian community that will last for years to come. So today, the Senate of the 30th Legislature of the State of Hawaii, we hereby honor and commend the Hawaii Youth Challenge Academy leadership team and staff for having the, de the vision, determination, and commitment to help the young cadets under your care get a second chance at a productive and successful life. We commend you for your efforts over the years to sustain and facilitate a program which nourishes and grows Hawaii's youth, and we wish you continued success. Congratulations to Class 50 and to the Youth Challenge Academy staff on your 25th anniversary. Imua. And Mr. President, in the gallery, I'd like to recognize the following uh, Youth Challenge Academy staff. Uh, please rise as I call your name and please hold your applause until the end. Larry Sivatia, Philip Ganaban, Isaac Ava, Michelle Small, Maria Miller, Christopher Barrows, Shauna McHugh, Sean Donahue, Donna Yoshimura, Kiara Bai, Grace Kawamura, Justin Faulkner, Robin Kunishi, Kunishige, Maaele Fonoti, Monique Jackson, Gail Fujimoto, Roger Shavira, Tangangafi Titi Ali'i, Stevie Ward, Carol Agbisit, Jerome Bayron, Saifaloi Felici, and Shana Van Olhofen. Please give them a big hand. And last, but certainly not least, would Class 50 please rise and be recognized? <laughs> Youth Challenge. Thank you, Mr. President. At the appropriate time, I ask for a recess to honor our guests.